Hi everyone! In today's class, we have another um, flow class and we are going to focus on an arm balance prep. So if you are working on Kundinyasana 1 um, with the flying um, twisting split, um, you can give this class a try. So we'll start lying down on the mat. Okay. So once you're um, there, okay, we'll hug the knees in towards the chest. Okay. And then maybe do a few circles with the knees. Okay, seeing how the back feels today as you breathe in and out of the nose. Okay. And then we'll go the opposite direction. A few circles again. It can be a big circle or a small circle. Okay. One more breath here. And then we'll bring the knees in again. This time, we'll keep the right knee hugged in, left leg down on the mat. Okay. Keep the right knee hugged in, drawing it in, breathing in. Active through the left leg, so left foot is flexed. One more breath. And then from here, we'll twist right foot or right knee <coughs> over to the left side. You can shimmy the hips and then bring that right arm out to a T. And then taking your time here, we'll start with an easy twist. See how the back feels. Okay. Now using your left hand, you can gently press down on that right leg any amount. Now as you twist, see how the back feels. Okay. You can add small movements. Maybe you can wiggle the hips side to side. Okay. See if you need it. Maybe, maybe not. You might prefer to be still in the twist. Okay. Staying here for another breath. And then we'll slowly release. We'll come back to center. We'll hug both knees in towards the chest. And then we'll do it on the other side. Okay, left leg, draw it in. Right leg straightens out. Keeping that right leg active as you bring the left knee in towards the chest. Inhale. And then as you breathe out, we'll twist towards the right side. So again, you can shimmy the hips. Adjust <clears throat> as left knee moves towards the right Okay. Now, as you anchor your left arm out to a T, maybe palm, shoulder, ground it down. Using the right hand, just gently pressing down on that left leg. Breathing in and breathing out. You can add those small movements again. Maybe hips will wiggle side to side. Just gently pressing down on that left thigh. Okay, one more cycle here. And then from here, we'll slowly release. We'll come back to center. We'll hug both knees in towards the chest. We'll rock forward and back. Okay. Maybe a couple of times. Maybe gain enough momentum to roll up to seated. Then we'll come to a tabletop position. And then once you're in a tabletop position, go ahead, draw those circles again. This time from all fours. Okay, you go in one direction. So see how the hips feel. <clears throat> and then let's go the other direction. Okay, drawing those circles. Breathing in and out. And then from here, we'll come back to center. Okay, we'll curl the toes. And then we'll lift up into our downward facing dog. And then from down dog, any movement that feels good for you. Maybe bending one knee and the other. Maybe hips will shake side to side. Okay. One more breath here. Okay. And then from here, we'll lift that right leg up. And then we'll actually come into pigeon already. Bring that right shin or right knee behind the right hand. Okay. <clears throat> Flex that right foot as you drop the hips down. Now, if you find that the, your right butt is too high, grab your block and then um, bring it underneath the right butt. Now, I know coming into pigeon at the start of class may feel quite intense. Know that it is um, in my body. Okay? But we are um, wanting to release the outer hips as we um, move with our practice today. And then from here, you can shimmy the hips or the body side to side. Maybe for some, you'll come down to your elbows okay, as you fold. Maybe others, you might even bring your head down on the mat. Okay. 
Now taking your time here as you breathe in and breathe out. You lengthen the inhale and then lengthen the exhale. One more cycle here. And then from here, we'll take our time. We'll come up, come up to the palms. We'll curl the left toes, lift up so that we can step back into our downward facing dog. And then see how your right side feels. Maybe you'll bend the knees one at a time again. And then let's take that on the left side. Inhale, left leg lifts up. Then we'll come to our pigeon, left knee behind that left wrist. Okay, keep flexing that left foot. And then as the right leg shoots back, okay, take your time as you let the hips find neutral. Okay, so I think I can show better from this side. So again, if the left butt is too high, you can slide the block underneath. Okay, and then be upright. And then take your time here. <clears throat> Others may fold in this shape. Okay. Again, maybe some, you might even get your head down onto the uh, mat. And then see how you feel. Okay. There's always no sense in forcing the stretch. Okay. So let's honor what our bodies are um, capable and the ranges that our bodies have. Okay. Know that we all have different ranges. Okay. So it's perfectly fine to stay a little bit upright. Maybe even you're up on your palms. Okay. And then wherever you are in your pigeon, one more breath. Okay. And then from here, <clears throat> come up to the palms, curl the right toes, and then we'll step back again into our downward facing dog. Okay. Breathing in and out. This time we'll find stillness okay, in down dog as we push away from the floor, coming back to the breath. And then from here, we'll look in between the hands. We'll step, walk forward, make your way to the top. Inhale, come up halfway. And then exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll reach the arms all the way up, hands lift. Exhale, hands back by the sides. Okay. <coughs> Inhale, arms lift up. Quick hair fix. <laughs> Exhale, we'll fold forward. Inhale, coming up halfway. And as you exhale, hands come down. Step back to your tabletop. Okay. Now from here, let's focus on the pressing away. <clears throat> okay. So push away, maybe so much that the upper back will round. Okay. Breathing in and out. Draw that belly in. And then from here, we'll reach forward. We'll find our chaturanga. We'll bend the elbows and then hover. Belly draws in. Keep pushing away. And then from here, we'll lower down. Ground through the toes. Shoulders roll back. Inhale. We'll lift the chest away from the floor for cobra. And then from here, we'll push up. Back into tabletop. And then from here, you'll reach your hands towards the corners of the mat. And then you'll reach your butt back. Okay. Holding steady here, maybe you're, you'll wiggle the hip side to side. Or keep the hips steady, maybe you'll wiggle the chest side to side. One more breath. From here, roll up to tabletop. Reset the hands. Curl the back toes. And then lift up to downward facing dog. If you want to move in down dog, go ahead. If you prefer to be still, go ahead. Breathing in and out. One more breath here. We'll look in between the hands. You can step, walk forward. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll reach the arms all the way up. Hands lift. Maybe even look up if that's accessible. Hands back by the sides. Inhale, arms will lift. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, come up halfway. This time, we'll step back to our plank. Okay, hold steady here. Find that pushing <clears throat> effort again from the hands to the shoulders. Draw the belly in. And then as you exhale, we'll reach forward. Elbows bend any amount. 
breathing in. This time we'll find our up dog, chest presses forward. Exhale into our downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lift up. We'll step it forward in between the hands. Okay. <clears throat> Left knee comes down. We'll start with a low lunge. Inhale, arms lift up. Okay. Now, as you bend into that front knee, it's easy to just dump into the hips. So what we want is to traction the thighs so we have that lift from the pelvic floor. Belly draws in. One more breath here. And then from here, hands come down. We'll straighten that right leg as we shift the hips back. So we'll come into our um, <clears throat> modified or in our half split. Okay, breathing in and out. Now as you stay here, you can stick the butt out. Maybe add small movements. Hips will wiggle. Okay, maybe leg will wiggle side to side okay, as you fold over that right leg. Remember, you can bring your hands on blocks if you find that the floor is too far away. Okay, one more breath. And then from here, we'll re-bend into that right knee. Hands come down okay, as we step back to our plank. <clears throat> then as we breathe out, maybe we'll find Chaturanga or modified version. Okay, choosing a back bend, maybe Cobra or Up Dog. And then exhale into our Downward Facing Dog. Left side, leg lift up. We'll step it forward in between the hands. We'll press that right knee down and then inhale, arms lift up. We'll find our low lunge. So again, as you bend into that front knee, notice how it's easy to just dump or just let go. Find that lift, okay? We'll traction the thighs. Maybe you'll look up, maybe palms touch, okay? So any um, expression of low lunge that you like. Okay, one more breath. And then from here, hands come down. <clears throat> Hips will press back as left knee straightens for our half split. Okay, you can adjust the leg if needed. Maybe left heel will move forward as we fold. Again, taking your time as we <clears throat> stretch out the left hamstrings. Maybe butt will stick out. Maybe hands are on blocks. Maybe there are small movements at the hips. Maybe hips are steady, leg will shimmy side to side. Okay, breathing in and out. One more cycle here. And then from here, we'll bend into that left knee, hands come down as we step back. Breathing in. Okay, you can transition any which way you like. And then making our way into downward facing dog. Okay, five cycles here. <clears throat> Pushing away from the floor. Lengthen the inhale. Lengthen the exhale. Now as you reach the butt back, this time we'll look forward again, knees bend. Stepping one foot, followed by the other. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll reach the arms all the way up. Hands lift. Exhale, hands back by the sides. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, come up halfway. And then as you exhale, making your way back. Maybe some will even jump back if that is in your practice. Then go ahead. Maybe we'll find Chaturanga, modified Chaturanga. Maybe modify the back bend as you make your way into downward facing dog. Okay. Inhale, right leg lifts. <clears throat> we'll step it forward in between the hands. Left knee comes down and then inhale, reach the arms up. Again, traction the thighs so we keep the hips supported or the pelvic floor lifted. Hands come together, inhale, and then we'll twist towards the right side. Okay. Now in this um, twist, see how compact you can get. Okay. So bring that left arm, maybe as close as you can, and then pushing away at the palms, okay. turning a little bit more towards the right. Now as you stay in the twist, okay, you can add small movements again if that feels necessary or needed in your body. 
or maybe just holding still now one more breath and then from here we'll release hands come down <clears throat> as we step back and as you exhale elbows bend any amount breathing in so we draw the chest forward exhale into downward facing dog inhale left leg lifts up <clears throat> we'll step it forward in between the hands okay. right knee comes down adjust the stance if needed so you feel balanced inhale come up okay. the support of the pelvic floor traction the thighs from here hands come together then as we exhale we'll twist towards the left side this time okay. so again just getting yourself as compact as you can maybe you're on your elbow maybe you'll try to slide the arm down as we stay in the twist okay pressing on the palms see if that will give you leverage to turn a little bit more breathing in and out one more cycle here and then from here we'll release hands come down we'll step back into our plank inhale and then as you exhale maybe elbows bend maybe you'll do your chaturanga with knees down or you can always skip the transition that is also an option and then as we reset or settle in down dog notice the breath breathing in and out nice one more breath here and okay, we'll look in between the hands maybe knees will bend step hop or walk forward inhale come up halfway exhale will fold inhale arms lift all the way up exhale hands back by the sides okay inhale arms lift <clears throat> maybe look up exhale will fold forward all the way down inhale come up halfway maybe some will step back maybe others will jump back <laughs> breathing in and then exhale into downward facing dog <clears throat> inhale right leg lifts moving on stepping it forward in between the hands okay this time we'll come up to a high lunge okay inhale coming up you can bend as much as you like at that right knee but <clears throat> again support it with um bring the thighs towards each other okay one more breath here now from here it will ground that left foot okay we'll bring the hands down and then we'll straighten that right leg any amount <clears throat> now if you find floor is far away grab your blocks okay you can adjust the blocks again okay so that you're supported by your hands now as you fold forward <clears throat> let the butt stick out any amount breathing in and out again you can add those small movements if you feel it's needed or helpful in your body for mine i feel that it is okay one more breath and then from here we'll add the twist okay so <clears throat> you can adjust the block or left hand can stay on the mat okay and then as you exhale we'll turn towards the right right arm lifts up okay hold steady here And then as your right arm reaches up towards the ceiling, you can stay here or maybe let your right hand reach over the head. See if you need that. Okay, maybe, maybe not. One more breath here. And then from here, we'll release. Okay, right hand comes down, stepping back to your plank. Inhale. And then as you exhale, you can transition any which way you like. Okay, you can always push straight back into downward facing dog breathing in and out left side lifting the leg up stepping it forward in between the hands okay. we'll come up to a high lunge first inhale arms lift up finding that zipper again drawing it in one more breath here and then from here hands come down <clears throat> right foot press it down as we straighten that left leg any amount Again, you can be on blocks. You can adjust the block height as we fold over that left leg. You can stick the butt back. Okay. 
So I like small movements in my body. Breathing in and out. Nice. One more breath here. And then from here, <clears throat> we'll come into a twist. Right hand either stays on the block or maybe on your mat. And then we'll lift that left arm up. Okay, finding that twist here. Now again, left hand can reach up for the ceiling. Or notice when we reach the left hand over the head. Okay, Breathing in and out. One more cycle here. And then from here, we'll release. Okay, releasing the twist, hands press down, stepping back into our plank. And then choose as you breathe out, breathing in again, and then making our way into downward facing dog. Okay. Now, as you settle or reset, or however down dog feels for you, come back to the breath. Lengthen the inhale. Lengthen the exhale. One more breath here. We'll look in between the hands. You can step, walk, or hop forward. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, we'll fold. Just being osy about my blocks. <laughs> inhale, come all the way up. Hands reach up. Exhale, hands back by the sides. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up halfway. And as you exhale, making your way back, maybe step back first. Maybe others will jump back. Maybe choosing your transition as you make your way into downward facing dog. <clears throat> Inhale, right leg lifts up. Okay. We'll step it forward in between the hands. Okay, we'll come up to our high lunge again. Okay, arms lifting up. Okay, find that nice long spine. Inhale. And then this time we'll find that twist. Hands come together. We'll come into that compact twist or see how close you can get your left side body to your right side. Okay, breathing in and out and then in this um, twist we'll explore okay you can look down and then we'll work with leaning forward or shifting forward so you're on your left big toe and then you're on the ball of your left foot so again you can look down to help with balance okay. we'll shift forward or lean forward as you press away from the left big toe and then we'll come back down so we're on the ball of our left foot one more leaning forward and then from here we'll lower back down we'll release the twist and then stepping back okay so see how um, that felt for you okay as we make our way into downward facing dog <clears throat> all right okay let's take that on the left side inhale left leg lifts we'll shift forward between the hands We'll come up to our high lunge. Hands reach up as you bend at that left knee. Any amount. Hands come together. We'll twist towards the left this time. Okay. So right, um, right side as close as you can <coughs> to your left, holding the twist. Okay. Now as we stay compact in our twist, look down. Okay. And then we'll play with that leaning forward and then right foot back. Okay, pushing away from that right big toe, coming back on the ball of the right foot, okay, leaning forward, pressing back. One more, I think this is the third. And then draw back, release the twist as we step back. Inhale. Then you can transition or making your way straight into downward facing dog. Breathing in and out. Okay. So with that leaning forward, <clears throat> so to be able to lift that back leg up, we have to lean forward a lot. Okay. So we'll explore that in the next round of our vinyasa. One more breath here. You will look in between the hands. You can step, walk, hop forward. 
Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands back by the sides. Next round, inhale, arms lift. Exhale, we'll fold forward. Inhale, come up halfway. And then exhale, making your way back. Okay, step back, maybe jump back. Okay, choosing again. And then making your way into downward facing dog. Okay, breathing in and out. Nice, one more breath here. Okay, from here, right leg lifts up. <clears throat> We'll step it forward in between the hands. Okay. We'll come up to your high lunge, breathing in. And then as you exhale, hands come together. We'll stay in that twist again. All right. So this time, we'll explore trying to float that back leg up. Okay. So look down. Okay. You can shorten the stance if you like okay, to help with balance. But then think about keeping yourself compact in the twist. Look forward. Lean forward. Keep that leaning in forward so that the back leg will start to lift. Breathing in and out. Okay. One more breath here. Oops. And then you land back down. We'll release the twist okay. as we step back. Okay. And then continuing to transition into our downward facing dog. All right. So it's... Um, it's not necessary to lift the back leg super duper high. For this exploration, <clears throat> we want to focus on how much we need to lean forward to lift that back leg up. Okay, so let's try that on that left side. Inhale, left leg lifts. Okay. Step it forward in between the hands. Inhale to our high lunge. Okay. We'll come into our twist, hands come together. Turn towards the left side. Okay. Now from here, we'll look down. Again, you can shorten the stance. Okay. So on the ball of our right foot. Okay. So keeping yourself compact here as you lean forward. Keep leaning forward so that the back leg will float up. So again, keep reaching through the right leg. Maybe the leg will lift higher, up to you. Keep that leaning forward, finding that balance. One more breath. And then from here, right foot comes down, releasing the twist as we step back, breathing in. And then as you exhale, we'll transition or you can push straight back into our downward facing dog. Breathing in and out. Nice, notice the breath again. And then from here, we'll look in between the hands, knees bend, step hop or walk forward. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands back by the sides. All right. Now we'll go through that again and then we'll add um, with the work um, into the leaning forward. All right. Inhale, arms lift up. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, come up halfway. And then as you exhale, making your way back again. And you can step back to your plank. You can transition or make your way straight into downward facing dog. Breathing in and out. Okay, from here, right leg lifts up. We'll step it forward in between the hands. Okay. <clears throat> Traction the thighs again as you come up. Okay, inhale here. Then as we exhale, we'll twist towards the right. Okay, finding that compact twist. Okay, you can shorten the stance. <clears throat> maybe adjust the hand, your left shoulder or left arm rather. Okay. And then from here, okay, I know you won't see on this side, but you'll find chaturanga arms. Okay, and we're actually mimicking kundinyasana 1. And we're going to do the arm balance standing up. Now, since we have our chaturanga arms, be 
be uh, mindful of what happens to that right arm. Okay? Notice if it tends to sort of um, flay out. Okay? So you want that hugging in as well. And then from here, you can look down to help with balance. Okay? You'll shift forward again, okay? keeping that compact twist, keep leaning forward, and then maybe that left leg will start to float up. Okay? Holding steady here, maybe one more breath. And then from here, we'll slowly release. <clears throat> Unwind from the twist, stepping back, inhale. And then maybe we'll transition. Or you'll push straight back into downward facing dog. Okay. So again, reset in downward facing dog. Okay. And then let's try that on the left side. Inhale, left leg lift. Okay. We'll step it forward in between the hands. Okay, come up to your high lunge, breathing in. Then as we exhale, okay, <coughs> hands come together in the twist. Okay, so again, getting yourself compact. Back foot, you can shorten the stance. Then from here, we'll find chaturanga arms. So I've been saying in my um, public classes, I think I prefer the arm balances when we're doing it standing. Okay. So again, that free arm, notice if it starts to open out. Hug that in. Okay. Keep the twist. Look down. Okay, so let's try it on this side. Okay, you can look down. Again, keeping yourself compact. <clears throat> and then from here, lean forward. So this is where the leaning in forward comes in in the arm balance. So sustain that leaning forward so that the back leg will float up. And then as the right leg lifts, keeping yourself compact in the twist, maybe you can add straightening that left leg any amount. So you're in that version of Kundinyasana. And then when you're ready, we'll lower down that back foot. Okay? Hands come down as we step back into our plank. Okay? And then transitioning again as we make our way into downward facing dog. Now, as we stay in our down dog, maybe you let it all go. Or if it's like, if you're like me, maybe you'll assess the situation, <laughs> okay, what efforts you need to work on. But know that if, um, especially if it's an arm balance, know that you can work the efforts from different perspectives. So in this case, we did it standing. So actually taking away the component of, um, well, the, using the arms to balance. Okay, one more breath. And then from here, we'll lower down the knees and then we'll find child's pose. Bringing the head down. And then taking a moment here. Okay, you can keep yourself lifted or maybe just sitting up tall and then just taking a moment, coming back to the breath. And then once you find yourself settling back down again, if your head is down, we'll lift up, okay? And then from here, we'll bring the legs in front. Okay, we'll bring the legs in front. Okay, so we'll find reverse tabletop. Bring the hands behind you, okay? Either fingers point towards the bum or maybe slightly off to the sides, okay, as long as it's comfortable for your wrists. Okay, so we did a lot of flexion at the hips. So we'll release that. And then as we lift the hips up, okay, pressing the hips up, you can look up. Then let's also add releasing the shoulders or stretching the shoulders a bit since we worked that as well. You can shift your weight side to side, maybe shifting back and forward. Okay, breathing in and out as you keep lifting the hips up towards the ceiling. One more breath here. And then from here, will slowly release, okay? We'll cross the legs. And then I'll face the front, okay? From here, <clears throat> you'll keep the right knee bent. Okay? You'll straighten the left leg out to the side, okay? Flexing through that left foot, right hand, reach it behind you. And then from here, left hand reaches up and back. Now you can stay here, finding that length at the left side body, or maybe for some, Press down on the right hand, press down on the feet as you lift the hips up 
towards the ceiling. Maybe even look up if that's comfortable for you. One more breath. And then from here, we'll slowly release. We'll do that on the other side. Left knee bends, right leg straightens. Out to the side. Okay. So anchoring that right leg down. Left hand comes behind you. And then we'll reach up and back. Okay. You can stay here. This feels like it's a wonderful stretch. Or maybe for some you'll explore or add pressing down on the feet or the left shin as you lift the hips up. One more cycle here. And then as you exhale, we'll slowly release. Okay, this time we'll cross the legs. And then you'll make your way down to your mat. Okay. When you're ready, you can roll down, maybe roll to one side. Once you're down, we'll hug the knees in towards the chest. Okay. So same way we started, you can draw those circles again. Okay. Go in one direction, go the other direction. And then from here, we'll plant the feet down. Okay. Then we'll press the palms down. We'll do bridge. Okay. When you're ready, inhale, we'll lift the hips up. Okay. We'll just do one more back bend here to release the front of the hips. You can interlace the fingers. Maybe shimming the shoulders towards each other. Breathing in and out. Now you can take this into a restorative bridge. So instead of interlacing your fingers underneath, you can um, bring blocks underneath the hips. Okay, one more breath here. And then from here, we'll slowly release. Hips will come down. This time we'll bring the feet as wide as the mat. We'll bring the arms out to a T. And then from here, we'll windshield wiper the legs. Okay. <clears throat> so drop them to one side. Come back to center and then twist to the other side. Okay. So we'll make it dynamic first, moving the knee side to side. And then maybe after you do another pair, okay, we'll hold. Okay. When you're ready, come back to center, inhale. And then exhale, we'll lower down the knees to the left side. Okay, you can keep the legs in the shape, okay? Or your left foot, you can press it on top of your right thigh. And then as you stay here, you can close your eyes. Soften what needs to soften here. One more breath in. And then from here, we'll release. We'll come back to center. Inhale. And then as you exhale, we'll bring the knees down towards the right side. Again, you can stay here or we'll bring that right foot on top of the left thigh. Okay. If it feels good for you or if you feel that the stretch or the release is necessary, you can take that. Know that you can always um, bring the foot back down. Okay. So again, you can take a moment here to close your eyes. So you breathe in and out. Maybe soften what needs to soften here. It might even be the gaze or the thoughts. One more breath here. And then from here, we'll release. We'll come back to center. Reset the hips and the spine. Take a moment. And then when you're ready, hug the knees in towards the chest. Okay, you can make yourself into a ball. Maybe roll up. And then when you're ready to let it all go again, lower down the head, straighten out the legs, or you can keep them bent if you like, okay, hands by the sides. So just finding any comfortable position for you, maybe even doing a few wiggles if that's what you need to feel settled in or to settle down. And when you're ready, closing the eyes, maybe taking a moment here to observe maybe the noises around your space and then bringing it inside observing the noises inside and as you navigate through all of that can you find stillness or surrender in Shavasana
And you're welcome to stay longer in Shavasana if you have the time. By all means, stay lying down. Okay, for those who are ready, maybe you'll find small movements. You'll give yourself a nice big stretch. And then when you're ready, you'll hug the knees in towards the chest. Roll over to any side. And then maybe take a moment here. You can take a moment here. And then whenever you're ready, we'll push ourselves up to seated. Okay. We'll find that comfortable seat. Okay, we'll close our eyes. We'll sit up tall. And then take another moment here to settle again. Take a moment to ground. And then this time bringing the hands together as we bow down our heads. So thank you so much for sharing your time and energy and for letting me guide you today. Namaste. So I hope you um, had fun exploring um, Kundinyasana 1, um, basically standing up. So um, the efforts with the leaning forward, keeping yourself compact um, as you float the back leg up. So you can continue working on that um, and then maybe um, try them out with the blocks. So if you'd like to see that, drop a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I would like to thank you for watching. This is Every Yoga by Joan Daya, sharing everyday yoga for everybody.